A viewer recently asked me how I changed the size of the font in my terminal, uh, like so. And uh, he found the answer, but I figured I'd do a video on it anyway in case someone else had that question. And the answer is I hold down control and tap the minus key to shrink it. And then the keys to expand it are control and the plus symbol, but you know, the plus symbol you have to hit shift for it to work, so control shift and the plus on your number, or not on your number pad, but on your row of key, number keys at the top. Um, but the way you can change that is if you go up here and edit, now this is uh, the GNOME terminal, and it will be different if you're using a different terminal emulator, but I'm using uh, the GNOME termula terminal emulator. Go up to edit, keyboard shortcuts, and you can see a whole list of all the different shortcuts, like F11 is to um, make things full screen, and and you can do things for closing tabs and opening tabs. And down here at the bottom, we have zoom in, zoom out, and normal size, uh, which is control zero to set it back to the default size. And uh, most web browsers, at least Firefox and I'm pretty sure Chrome, are the same way. You can hit control plus, control minus, and control zero to resize uh, the uh, contents of web pages. Um, but go ahead and look through all these shortcut keys. If you wanted to change something, you can easily do that. Uh, here's one that's disabled, hide and show uh, menu bar. Let me click on that and I'll just add a key. I'll just, uh, for right now, I'll hit uh, control. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. I'll just hit F6. I'm not sure if X F6 is used for anything else off the top of my head. But if I hit F6 now, you can see the menu bar is hidden and uh, then brought back when I press it again. So that's short uh, keyboard shortcuts under edit. And then we can also just double click this and I bet if we hit, yeah, backspace will disable it. So that is uh, viewing and modifying keyboard shortcuts in the GNOME terminal emulator. Other terminal emulators will have uh, features like this. I, I know console or K console or wherever it was called in, in KDE, I'm sure has something up in its menu for it. Other uh, ones like Xterm, I'm not sure, it's been a while. Uh, some you may have to actually edit a config file, but in the GNOME terminal, that is how it's done. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and I hope you play around with it, and check out other terminal emulators and see how you do it there. Have a great day.